the clockwork nope that's not it you're really about to see how chaotic of a reading life i have so hey friends hey friends hey friends it's me alana welcome back to my channel <laughs> some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I'm going to be talking about all the series that I need to finish. And when I mean all the series, I mean there are some series that I started when I started my booktube channel or before my booktube channel that I still have not finished. And yeah. So we're just gonna jump right in because I have no excuses. I have no comments to make on that. And these are honestly in no particular order. The first series I have that I need to finish is the Three Dark Crown series. I read this last year. I actually enjoyed it. I have the second book. I just need to continue on. My issue is I have no problem starting a series, but then when it comes to like moving on to the sequels, I'm nowhere to be found usually. That motivation is gone. So yeah, I like the series. I definitely want to finish it. I just have it. The next series is the Shatter Me series by Tahara Mafi. I started this in 2018. <laughs> and I read this and I read a novella. And then I still need to read the second book. I'm sorry. I like want to finish the series because I want to see all the hype but at the same time I'm like well it's over so I'm just gonna take my time since all the books are out now and yeah. The next series I have is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss. I read this like three years ago and I liked it. I just never continued on. I have the second book. It's sitting right behind me on this shelf but just haven't continued on and yeah I think it's because there were so many books in the series that I'm a little intimidated and it's done so I'm also just really slow about it as usual next series I need to read is the to all the boys I love Bustle for series by Jenny Han I've actually done really well with this trilogy I finished the second book just this year so I'm on track I just have to pick up the third one and then I'll be golden I'll be solid I'll be done so when that's actually gonna happen I don't know the next series I have here is a series I started when I was in high school and that was in the 2010 era, so yeah. It is the Morganville Vampire series. The series is taking me so long to finish. I love it. I love everything about it. I just, new books keep coming out, and so the old books keep just getting pushed back. And yeah, it's just an issue. I have all 15 of the books because... I had the urge like two years ago to finally finish it, but have I touched those 15 books? No, I haven't, and that is okay. The next series I have is the Boys That Bite series. Well, I don't know if that's the official series. I can't remember the series, the name of the series, but the first book is Boys That Bite by Marie Mancusi, Cussy, something. This was in my vampires phase in high school slash middle school, and I I honestly don't even know if I want to finish this series anymore because it got really weird because okay so it started with like these two twin sisters and one gets bitten by a vampire when the other one was supposed to get bitten by a vampire and there's just the whole mix up and then like one of them gets turned into a vampire hunter at some point in the series which was like okay I guess that's logical and then they find out they're half fairy. So now they have a vampire hunter, a vampire, and a fairy all in one person. And I was like, that makes no sense. But at the same time, like, the series is so chaotic. I kind of want to finish it to see how it goes. So, like, 
you see my struggle? The <laughs> next series, I might as well just do these two at the same time because they're by the same person, is the Mortal Instruments series and, and the Infernal Devices trilogy. Haven't finished neither of these. Granted, so when I started the Mortal Instruments, it was just three books. It was supposed to just be three books. So I finished it and I was like, cool, good, I'm done. And then like three, four, five years later, I found out there's three more books in the series. And I was like, that's a lot of extra work because then I'd have to go reread the original trilogy because I don't remember anything. And then continue on the last three books. And I just haven't had that urge to do that yet. And I don't know when I'm gonna have that urge, honestly. So it's, it's a dilemma. It's, a, it's an issue. And then with this one, I read this one, I think maybe a year or two ago. And I just don't know if I like it enough to continue on with it. I'm still on the fence about it. It was kind of boring. And I tried to listen to the audiobook for Clockwork Prince. And that just gave me the chills because the audio person just... The voice wasn't bad, like I just didn't like it. So I'm just, I'm stuck. The next book series I have is the Mediator series by Meg Cabot. So with this one, I literally have read all the books except for the last one, I think. And I think it's because I also had this habit of I would read the entire series until I get to the last one and then I would get nervous because I wouldn't want it to end. So I'd put off the last book. And then 10 years later, I still haven't read the last book. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I'm, I'm making myself angry doing this video right now. The next series I have is the Vampire Kisses series by Ellen Schreiber. So basically, the same thing that happened with the Meteor Eater series happened with this one, where I got the last book, got scared, pushed the last book off. Ten years later, I'm still sitting with this series unfinished. I want to reread it. I've actually started to reread it because the books aren't that long. They're not hard to read because I want to finish the series. I want to mark it off as done. It's been on my shelf for since 2014. Where are we? We're 2020 now. Like, I'm failing. Like, girl, what am I doing? The next book series I have is An Ember in the Ashes by Sabatier. This one I just started this year. So, giving myself a little leeway here. I'm gonna actually try and catch up and finish this year because the last book does come out this year. So, that would be kind of cool to do. It would also make me feel better after looking at all of these series that I haven't finished. The next book I have is next series I have is Children of Blood and Bone. Granted, okay, so this is not finished yet. I had the second book, which is why I'm adding it to this list because I haven't read the second book yet. So I need to read that and then I'll be basically caught up. When I'm gonna read the second book, I don't know. But I got time because the third book's not even out yet. So we're solid. Next series is the Renegades Trilogy by Marissa Meyer. I'm giving, it's the same thing with an Ember and the Ashes series where I just started this this year so I have a little leeway and I have all the books now in this trilogy so my goal is to try and finish it this year to also make myself feel better about all these other books that I have not finished. Next one I have is a duology and it's the Grim Lovelies duology by Megan Shepherd. So uh, I read the first book and I really enjoyed it I think two years ago and the last book came out I think last year? Year before? I don't remember. So I have it. I just haven't opened it yet. And it's kind of the same issue where I'm like, I'm nervous to see what happens in the last book. So I'm hoping to maybe get to it this year or before I die. So last duology, thank the Lord, is the Six of Crows duology by Leigh Bardugo. I finished the Grishaverse trilogy, so I have finished some series and trilogies in my lifetime. But I had read this last year. And I didn't have Crooked Kingdom, so I was just like, I'll just wait a minute because I wanted I wanted time to process this book anyways. I'm hoping to read Crooked Kingdom before the series comes out so I can just be caught up and then I can hop into King of Scars. So I hope that happens. So those are all the series that I have not finished, that I still need to finish, that I'm just failing to finish. Why did I make this video? If you like the video <laughs> and seeing me struggle uh, please like down below if you have any comments 
hopefully nice ones, concerns, questions about these series, please leave all of those down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. If you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Mm -hmm.